Next, we have Ned Gandevani from Harvard Extension School. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much uh, for this great opportunity. I appreciate it very much. So I am delighted to be here and uh, was wondering what I can say as uh, my last lecture. Well, many of, uh, as some of you may know, I teach uh, finance, and uh, uh, I have been fortunate enough that spending about maybe 12 years teaching finance and practicing about 25 years. So many students, they come to me and they ask me, uh, anytime they are dealing with important uh, you know, milestone in their lives, or anytime they are undertaking a project, they, they seek my advice, they ask my counsel. And after a while, listening to them attentively and actively rather, I tell them, look, you should be an artist. They look around, they look at me, and they feel that maybe they misheard me. They ask me again. They say, sir? I would say, yeah, I think you should be an artist. I could see in their eyes, they are thinking, oh my God, my professor has gone mad. And I just tell them, look, if you want to be successful, if you want to achieve what you want, Regardless of the barriers and obstacles you are dealing with, you need to be an active risk taker. You need, you need to be an artist. The fact is that every moment in our lives, we are making decisions. You are here today because of the decisions hopefully you made last week, yesterday, last month. You are here today at the stage of your life, at the current stage of your life, because of the decisions you made before. So therefore, by making decisions, by dealing with different decisions, basically, you are steering your life, you are creating your own destiny. You will be achieving your goals. However, making decisions doesn't seem readily and easily. Yes, what to eat and what not to eat, that's not a big deal. But when I'm thinking about maybe important milestones in my life, when I'm thinking about doing an investment banking project for one of the clients, for example, or when I'm thinking, should I take this job? Should I do this you know, uh, a project? They are important decisions, and you know that because you are not sure what to do. When you are not sure what to do, means you are facing with different uncertainty. The things are not quite clear for you. Well, all right. You have taken some finance courses and some economic courses, probably. In economics, we learn that people, they make decisions, or people as economic agents, they make decisions based on trade-off. They weigh benefits and costs. They compare and contrast the advantages and limitations. The profits they may get from a project compared to the losses they may uh, incur. So they make a decision based on trade-off. However, the problem is that most of the times it's difficult for us to ascertain the benefits, or more important, ascertain the risk. Because many times, the risks are very ambiguous. Well, all right, in finance, uh, you know, finance provides you several quantifiable models help you to quantify the risk you are dealing with. We talked about a standard deviation, uh, which basically is a measurement of dispersion compared to the average. We talked about beta. We talked about value at risk or adjusted value at risk. Each of them to identify 
a measure of loss and ask you if you are able to take that and accept it. If so, you move on. Even we are offering some risk management theories as part of our education, right? They tell you, look, if you are making a decision and you know there are some negative impacts with that decision, you are able to manage those negative impacts. They tell you that you are able to accept if you wish to. I buy a phone. They ask me to buy insurance for it. And I realize that the cost of insurance does not really, you know, uh, it's getting too much. Therefore, I say, you know what? It doesn't matter. I may lose my phone. So I accept the risk. Or I may simply avoid it. Well, if you do not get to into accident, don't drive a car. If you are concerned about flying, don't fly. Avoid the risk. The other strategy is basically transfer it. By insurance, by paying premium, you basically transfer your risk to third party, say insurance companies. And another strategy, or the last one, is to mitigate. If, I do, if I'm a young one, and I do not, do not wish to have a health uh, insurance, so maybe I should have a healthy lifestyle. So you are able to protect yourself against negative impact. However, what do you do when there are opportunities in any decisions you make? What do you do when you see there are benefits overweighing the risk? Then you need to exploit that risk. You need, you need to be an artist. You need to be an active risk taker. Look around you. There are opportunities all over the place. When I came to this country, I was less than 18 years old. I, first, my, I bought my first house when I was 19 years old. I grew so many companies, or at least three of them, from zero. And currently, I'm having my investment banking literally from zero. So there are plenty of opportunities around you. So you need to be an active risk taker, an artist. However, you will be able to optimize the positive benefit that you may get for a risky proposition if you utilize your insight and not knowledge. What do I mean? Well, humbly, I differentiate between knowledge and insight. Knowledge, I can transfer to you. You can learn. You go to classes, your great classes. You, you learn from your professors. You read your books. Or you are able to transfer your own knowledge to other people. But I cannot. I cannot transfer my insight to you. I cannot transfer my insight. I cannot teach you my insight. My insight has been cultivated through applying my knowledge in everyday life. Therefore, when knowledge becomes experiential, that becomes insight. So to take advantage of all the opportunities around you, develop your own insight. Figure out the area that you have passion, you have love for. Learn about it, cultivate your knowledge, but transfer that knowledge into insight by applying on every single thing you do. Now you have become insightful. You are able to exploit risk. You are able to become an artist. Wherever you look at, you will see opportunities. Wherever you look at, you will see the beauty at least in my perspective, I see blessings. Life is full of blessing because I cannot find a dull moment. Every time, every day, I face some challenges, and I welcome that. 
Small challenge, big challenge. I welcome that. I feel that's a great opportunity for me to become better and be able to exploit that risk. Indeed, when you are insightful and you are an artist, you see beauty around you, you come to a place that you appreciate beauty. So anytime beautiful becomes be beauty becomes beautiful to you, so you could see that you have come to that degree that you are able to apply your insight. So my good friends, my great students and colleagues, I wish you the greatest success in becoming an artist. Thank you.